7 o'clock. Why, <coughs> why we will never... <coughs> Excuse me. At her conference end, Mrs May defies a cruel cough. But for how much longer will she keep her cabinet rivals at bay? Beyond the coughing, what could go wrong did go wrong. A comic interruption was itself a serious security lapse. An F fell off the wall, but there was at least a hug from husband Philip at the end. Good evening, laced with suspicions around Boris Johnson's intentions and aspirations, an uncomfortable Tory confidence conference has ended with an uncomfortable leader's speech. Mrs May tried hard to paint the Conservatives as the aspiring party of the workers, and there was a bid to attract younger voters, but to a predominantly older audience. Tonight, the end of a difficult week for the Tories, but a day on which at least Mr Johnson finally did what he was told. President Trump arrives in Las Vegas to meet survivors of this country's worst mass shooting. But will he finally talk about the issue of guns and the weapons used to kill 58 people and wound more than 500 at a music festival here three nights ago? Also tonight, Amazon has handed a 250 million euros bill for back tax in Europe, but it won't be offering next day delivery. The online retailer is accused of unfairly profiting from Luxembourg's tax regime, but says it may appeal. Unimpressed by the King's speech, nationalists in Catalonia could try to declare independence by Monday. And the 67-year-old man with motor neuron disease fighting for the right to die tells us why his human rights are at stake. I was really looking forward to so many things I wanted to do. There are so many treks in the Alps, so many climbs, so many cycle routes I'd never be able to do. It was billed as renewing the British dream. But Theresa May had a nightmarish time delivering her speech to the Conservative Conference in Manchester. Her aim was to re-energise her party after the disastrous election campaign. Her message was that the Conservative government would make the country fairer and more prosperous for a new generation. But all of that was overshadowed by a triple whammy of a comedy interruption by a man bearing a P45, a series of coughing fits and finally the disintegration of the slogan on the wall behind her. Our political editor, Gary Gibbon, has this report. The snap election she called was supposed to have crushed Labour and made her invincible. Even before a stunt and a bad cold hit Theresa May, she already had a job on her hands here, trying to take on a Labour Party boosted by the election and saying sorry to a party she led backwards. But we did not get the victory we wanted because our national campaign fell short. It was too scripted, too presidential, and it allowed the...